Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again Z here. In this video, I'd like to introduce CNC puzzle solver that I've built on top of my CNC chess engine. So it was quite pretty easy to derive from the engine itself, slightly change the uh, UI to fit the purpose of solving uh, puzzles. And if the UI for playing looks like this, where you can simply play, select some opponents, uh, board themes etc then puzzles are puzzles looks like this basically so here you can select puzzles one of available they all are provided with uh, in the format of fen string you can also uh, load a custom fen string as well and the way it works is the following so if you make a move that doesn't lead to a win you're getting checkmated and start from the very beginning until you find a proper move but in case if you find the solution, in this case, you can find you're, you're redirected to the next puzzle to solve. And again, the same stuff. So say you make some dumb move that leads to getting checkmated, then you just try again, again, and so on. But if you find a way to checkmate opponent, then you're getting redirect, redirected to the next one, and so on, and so on. And until uh, the list of this uh, until the list of the puzzle is exhausted so that's gonna it quite pretty simple same you can solve uh, so this you, you, you can just uh, create on your own or generate from some GUI or uh, craft this FN string on, on, on your own that's what I did in order to initialize this uh, so, uh, this sort of a positions and you can load this custom one and you can also solve this custom one just like whatever other position so now a few words uh regarding the origins of this project so um, i got in touch with amazing man uh, jim png the author of uh and uh, maintainer of uh, cnc in english.com site and we're now having a discussion by email uh where we're discussing the matter of uh, how the uh, how the engine that I've created can make use to his site. Uh, I'm not sure yet whether he accepts my ideas or not, but anyway, uh, this interaction brings some kind of new, amazing experience to me. And this puzzle solver wasn't really possible without the help of Jim, because uh, not, not without the help of him, but but without meeting him basically and without uh, interacting with him this wouldn't wouldn't be possible so the positions i've taken uh here the positions i'm using here in my solver i've taken from his site so here you can have a look uh, uh it on your own so cnc puzzles here and i took the first three positions from puzzle movers uh basic kills into moves from this one in particular. So I just uh, manually uh, parse this board positions to FEN strings. So I just do done this using the keyboard, nothing much. Only this first three. And now, uh, so in this site, it's a little bit of a downside that you can only see the solution. But uh, even if you do move the piece, you can move the piece, but still you see the solution. It's not really that great and you need to, and you need to move the opponent's skin as well. So it's kind of like more analysis mode rather than playing mode while in my solver you can just actually play as as if, if as if you were playing a real game that's kind of the difference so i think that it would have been nice to embed uh, this sort of a uh feature into james site well i'm not sure how likely that would have been but anyway uh Regardless of the fact whether that works or not, uh, I highly encourage you guys to share the PGNs for uh, PG uh, to share the FEN strings for some puzzles that you may you, that you probably know. The more puzzles we get, uh, the more uh, them would be right over in here on this app. The more people would be able to interact uh, to uh, solve them in this uh, interactive way. So, if you if you have some puzzles in uh, in the format of FEN, please kindly let me know either in the commentaries below this video or feel feel free to mail me to 
freesav. Uh, oh my god, I forgot my email. freesav. people at gmail. com. It's available on my YouTube uh, contacts, so uh, check check it out there if uh, you didn't remember or something. Also, it's available uh, on my GitHub, so that would be the link to GitHub. So email can be found here down below here's my email okay so this is it from my side guys and you know like uh i, I really want to thank uh, uh to the new subscribers uh let's say in particular uh i forget what's the guy's name just hold on a sec i i just really appreciate for subscribing to my channel uh hold on a sec yeah, Asian Chess TV, this guy. So Asian Chess TV, thank you for subscribing. And I'm I'm really I really love the fact that guys that are related to CNC starting to subscribe to this channel. This is really awesome. And I already feel like uh, some amazing cooperation between me as a developer and the guys who are doing CNC uh, might bring some fantastic results because I see that the market of, of online CNC uh development uh related stuff like i don't know uis like features uh whatever it's not that great as say the international western chess and i would love to contribute to your project guys uh so working together in collaboration to bring amazing new products and possibly monetize them in future that's something that i'm incredibly interested in at the moment so if you have any suggestions feel free to mail me uh, as well and we'll see how it how comes how it comes with Jim and I think I really hope that that would be something interesting to share in future so maybe others would also uh, like to make I don't know their websites a little bit more interactive a little bit better also I have an idea to wrap my project of CNC engine into some somewhat a more minimalist uh, format to use only the board and then the JavaScript uh, to initialize the, the the snippet of JavaScript code to initialize it as if it was a library so just just to bring it to the library format and in that case it would be easily embeddable like the only uh, single HTML element div element like CNC board and then you can, you can just uh, use some starting settings to pick up the site to move it, etc. So, so, so uh, by using both uh, uh, APIs for uh, GUI and for an engine itself, it might be quite pretty tricky to uh, embed this sort of CNC board to websites for various purposes. I'm not yet sure regarding the proper format, so probably the best way to go would be to actually uh, trying to work in the real world projects. But um, anyway, some interesting avenues arising. Well, okay, guys, so this is it from my side. Uh, uh, again, like, please send me FENs with uh, the CNC puzzles if you have. And see you in the next video. Until that time, and take care.